All right, so we got my boy Sean Ferrari back on Off the Porch, man. Welcome, bro. What's happening? What's happening? We gonna come yeah. behind. I just to make sure this nigga don't lose the hunt if they were wrapped too tight, you heard me? <laughs> What's How we feeling today, bro? What's happening? What's happening? I'm good. I'm good, man. You feel me? I'm looking good, ain't I? I'm looking like it. Yeah, they saying you look like a rapper right now, man. I look like a rapper. I birth rappers. <laughs> I make rappers become rappers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they just be just rapping and just talking and shit at first. But I make this shit music. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. fucking with you. <laughs> what's that? What's that? Talk to him. What's going hey, on? Boy, man, you know we just had you on, but we had to bring you back, man. Yeah, I'm gonna you know, the song going crazy with Sexy yeah. Red, man. Hellcats, SRT. We got a bunch of that, though. Shout out to my sister, though. Yo. What the fuck? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we heard. Yeah, yeah, that's how we coming, the fuck? Yeah. Don't make me fuss about it. Y'all know me, I'm Unc, I'm rich and famous. Yeah, yeah, and I'm off the porch with my boy Dirty Glove Bastard. The fuck? Hellcast, SRT, and nigga come pull up on me. Drive the car fast, do the dash, she make my coochie leak real bad. All right, so, man, that was one hell of an introduction right there, man. Welcome back, Unc. Listen, don't make a fuss about it. I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm hurt. And we number one. Yeah, hold on. Give me one minute. Yeah. You know, uh, I reason I'm famous, the fuck? Yeah. Got to put some of that in there. Yeah, yeah. I brought that I brought, I brought that out. That came out, I own that. I created that. Yeah, I let a fat dude named Heavy G promote it for me. He real fat and light skinned. Yeah, I let him promote that for me. I made a million dollars off Whippy last year. A million? Yeah, a million dollars off Whippy. That's what I got on my mama. Huh. Why don't I put on my mama if I'm lying? Hmm. Yeah. That's enough with you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. A little whippy in mind, baby. Get him a little whippy too, the book. You want some whippy? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, gotta give him some whippy too. I got a little whippy. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're gonna rename it the Flippy. The Flippy? Yeah, because I flipped that shit, the book. Yeah. <laughs> so, Uncle, how we feeling, man? It's been a minute since you've been on the porch with us, bro. But it look like shit been lovely for you, man. Listen, it's bad. It's better than ever being, the book. Yeah, I'm doing better shit. We number one in the country right now. Yeah, Sexy Rail turning up. Sexy Rail turning up. Up, man. Yeah, so talk about how that record came about, man. Hellcats, SRTs, and did y'all know y'all was sitting on it? Listen, something fuss about it. It'd it be like kind of like some secret shit. I don't be knowing how it'd be happening. I'd just be getting phone calls for Sean for Ari. It'd always happen like at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'd be like, hello? He'd be like, yeah, um, and he, his voice be different. I swear to God, my mama. Oh, man, he'd be like, I'm not lying. His voice be like, he'd be like yeah, um, uh, we got one. I said, what you mean? He said, you'll find out tomorrow. I'm like, what you mean? He said, we can't, I can't tell you yet. So I, I don't know how what's been going on. And he was like, the Hellcats and Trackhawks. I said, what that mean, Sean? Boy? What the? And the next day, everybody talking about Hellcats and Trackhawks and Sexy Red. And then he said something about Look Dirt. I said, Look Dirt, what? Then the next day, they post that too. So I don't know how he be knowing this shit before I do. But it's some kind of secret shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a lighter, man. Yeah. I'm a lighter, man. So uh, what'd you think of the song the first time you heard it then? First time I heard it, I said, this is a hit. I know it was crazy. I told you that I'm late. The first time I heard it, it was already number one. They don't let me hear shit. That's what I got my mama. They don't let me hear shit because I'm gonna talk about it. It's some kind of secret shit going on. So I don't know yet. Yeah, I heard it when it was number one already. The fuck? Yeah, so I just came out to celebrate. There you I'm go. I'm here for celebration. Yeah. yeah, we in the door now. Yeah. 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 So how does it feel both of y'all, you know, have a number one record like that shit? We well, got a bunch of number one records. Y'all just talk about these. Yeah, he, you listen, know what I'm saying? I told you. He Maybe. got 29. 30. 39. 30. We got 30, 30 three zero still. Yeah, yeah. We aiming for 39. You heard me, but we, we got a lot of them. Y'all just know this one. Yeah. Because I don't really. He make me do all this. See, he don't talk about it because he got 29 before he got with me. I don't know how he got them 29. There's some kind of secret. I swear to God, my mama. Like, he a regular person, <laughs> but somehow he keep going number one. I swear to God, my mama, like, how the fuck you doing this, Sean? You don't know how you doing it. But some kind of shit, I can't really speak about that because it be going on. And because I used to be a part of it. 
but I ain't a part of it no more, but oh, I don't really want to talk about that. Because about I used to be a part of that type shit, but I don't do it no more. What yeah, you I mean? used to do it. You know, I used to, I used to be something. I ain't, I ain't that no more. Yeah. Like what? Connected? What, what you talking about? Yeah, I was about? connected. I was connected with, with the, everybody that's doing it. The type, I only want to speak on that because like, he probably get a little nervous I'm going to talk about the people. <laughs> but I was connected. With, yeah. I keep dropping my money. I get nervous when I talk about it because my life be on the line, but I don't be giving it for, I was connected with the Illuminati. Oh my the God. The Illuminati. Oh, yes, I swear to God on my mama. So the Illuminati is real? Yes, it's real. <laughs> what you mean you used to be connected? I don't think you could leave the Illuminati. Listen, I'm the first person to leave. I made the ultimate sacrifice. I made the ultimate sacrifice and I got out the Illuminati. So I'm the first person that can speak about it. Yeah, I sacrificed my son. Your son? Yeah, I swear to God on my mama. See, he's looking at me, he, he can't speak on that. <laughs> he's he laughing, but he really know what's going on. See, if he, if he, he don't want to speak on that. I'm, I'm keeping it real. So that's how I got out. So I'm half Illuminati and half street. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So I'm, 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 ha I'm half Illuminati Dead and half street. Ass. Dead ass here. No, no Sean, lie. you know about this? Well, <laughs> what the fuck y'all talking about? See, he, he can't talk about it. See, I'm half, so I can talk about it. Because he got 29 times platinum. 29 like times. Whip you. And he be in St. Louis, walk around like it ain't nothing. And he, he I don't never talk to him. I don't be knowing where he be at. Like, when he was coming here, all of a sudden he just popped up. That's what I got my mom, like, what the fuck? And he just here. So you don't never know too much about that. So we don't want to speak on that. We can't speak on that too much. Huh. Yeah. Why'd you leave the Illuminati then? Because I wrote Country Grammar, first of all. <laughs> Wait, Nelly. Yes, I wrote <laughs> Country Nelly. Grammar. He laughs. He laughing. He thinks it's a joke. The I Diamond Song. I swear to God, my mom, I wrote Country Grammar. I swear to God, my mom, I wrote it. Listen, take, I really, listen, I wrote it for Ali. <laughs> Right? Me and Ali, we was locked in. Come on, bro. Listen, see, he laughs and try to make the people like I'm, I'm lying, but I'm telling the truth. Listen, I wrote it with, for Ali, right? So me and Ali, we was a group. You know what I'm saying? We was just called the Ticks. It wasn't the Lunatics yet. We was just the Ticks. And it was me and Ali, it was just two of us. So we was the Ticks. And we kept on trying to rap my raps, but they weren't coming out sounding right. The fuck? And Mo had a better voice. And when I say Mo, I'm talking about Nelly. Y'all probably don't know him like that, but I know him, so I call him Mo. So he said he know Mo. I'm like, shit. Mo light skin and shit. He like, but he, he gonna get, he gonna make it happen. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So he know Jermaine Dupree. I'm sorry, I'm gonna ask Jermaine Dupree right now. I'm like, see, so the first meeting I was done. But I'm like, damn, I had the mask on. And as I slowed down, came with the mask, they told me I'm street. I'm half Illuminati and half street. So at that time, I couldn't be seen. So I had to have my mask on. And that's why I slowed down, put the mask on to, for me, because they was trolling me, because they sacrificed me and sent me and City Spud to the penitentiary. Yeah, that's what I got on. They sacrificed True me. story. True story. You know, they can look it up. Them niggas were locked up. We was at the same, same time. We was in Boonville. They <laughs> I was, and I was still writing then. I was right, but they didn't want me to show myself. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like, ain't funny. I know, but y'all were locked up yeah, together for real. Time. So I'm like, damn, hold on, yeah. he might be. Yeah. They didn't want me to show myself. Why wasn't they shouting you out? They, they were saying free city spud in every song, man. I was sacrificed. I was the ultimate sacrifice. I was really the one writing it. Like, I wrote Country Grammar. I named it and everything. So I wrote it, but I wrote it for Ali. We was the ticks not the lunatics. So when Ali come up saying he wrote it, he's speaking facts. But I wrote it, so Ali know this. Like you call Ali right now, ask him, he gonna get kind of weird, but he know how to play with me. He know me, he ain't gonna, he gonna play with me. He gonna get on to play with Nelly, but he know I don't, nobody, nobody play with me. So he know how to play with me, he gonna say, yeah, Unk wrote that if you ask him. Get him on here, but maybe he can't speak about that. I don't know, you gotta get him and ask him. But I don't know, he ain't popping no more. You don't even probably wanna talk to him. Cause he, I don't know, you might wanna talk to him, you might get five views, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. but if you wanna talk to him, talk to him. But he, but the, the, what's the other guy that talked to him? What was that on? It was on, that one guy that talked to him. Mm, this is another platform. Who? Another dude. Yeah, I don't wanna talk about it. We can't speak on that. But another platform I spoke, but they ain't get a lot of views though, so I don't know why they did it. <laughs> no, I swear to God, I don't know. See, he laughs, I'll be serious. I don't do no plan. I'm, I'm, I'm rich, I'm famous, the fuck, yeah. So, wait a minute, how old are you, huh? You wrote Country Grammar? Tell him how old you is, huh? Listen, he, as long as I've been on this show. Oh, oh, no, 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 look. I've been on this show, so I watch this show a lot of times, right? I ain't never saw you ask no motherfucking body how old they is. You know what I'm saying? You must try to embarrass me. But listen, I'm old enough to fuck your mama and rich enough to fuck your bitch. I'm out of this bitch, huh? You finish this shit, I'm gone. <laughs> All right, Sean. What's so up, man? Are, What's up, man? man? All right, Sean, so what's your reaction when you learn Dirk is jumping on the remix to Hellcats? Uh, I found out Dirk was getting on the remix. Oh, uh, shit, I was happy. Just like y'all, I found out just like y'all. Uh, <laughs> everybody be thinking I be having some little ticket loophole. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. 
Sometimes I find out when y'all find out. You know what I'm saying? Or when my lawyer hit me to do that paperwork. Okay. Yeah. Man, you so. know when this shit dropping? Do they shoot a video or anything? <laughs> uh, by the time they see this, it's out. Oh, for real? Yeah. Y'all see this, it's out. Y'all gonna be jamming that bitch like, what? Okay. Yeah. Man, that shit out. Video, everything, that bitch out. That shit'll be out by the time they see this. Back to number one after that, huh? Yeah, back to number one. We got some more shit, though, up the sleeve. Yeah. For these niggas, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, they think shit again, you need some more of this? Uh, they, they think this shit a game, and uh, I just be, be humble. I ain't never really did all this little shit, you know what I'm saying? So when I start doing it, now niggas pay attention. They think I just got one, yeah. number one. I got a lot of number ones. I got a lot of platinum plaques. I got a few goals. You know what I mean? I got, uh, Billboards, all this shit, Grammy nominees. I just a cool. I'm just a, just, a, just a nigga from the street. I don't be, you know, this my this my life dream. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm supposed to do this. You feel yeah. me? This ain't no shit to post. Like this, like a, you know, like supposed to do this. If you ain't doing this, then what the fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? So like, I let them little boys get happy about that little shit. I'm working. <clears throat> Celebrate this shit when, or y'all celebrate it when I die. I don't give a fuck to celebrate this shit. I'm working. I do this shit if I was broke. If I, ain't, if, I or if I was rich and wasn't making no money out of music. You know what I'm saying? Either or. It's like a real passion for you, then. I got a real passion. I told you, you know, I told, I told y'all last time. I, this, I got a real love for this shit. Yeah. I do this shit for real, for, for me. I don't give a fuck about doing it for nobody else. Y'all like it, though, so I fuck with that. So I'm trying to just show some love to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Be a, you know, people person, get in interviews and, you know, do this shit like that. But I really, I'll I be focused on the music. Yeah. All this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? About change and shit, cause I got artists, you know what I'm saying? And Uncle like shit, you got artists, you producing, you gotta do this, do this, blah, blah, blah. you gotta get looked apart. So shit, we went and bought some jewelry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had some little jewelry before, but I don't be wearing that shit. I don't be giving a fuck about it. I'm a regular person, you know what I'm saying? I got kids and shit. I just, I just be doing that. I be chilling at the house, you know what I'm saying? I've been rich since I was a little kid. Not a little kid for real, but to me a little kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've been rich. I've been doing this shit. So it's like, this my my life now. Like, <clears throat> I make beats. I come from the street. I did some of my life. I changed it. I'm doing this now. You know what I'm saying? And shit, when I go platinum or when nigga be high feel, it feel like I'm supposed to go platinum. This do what I'm supposed to be doing. If I wasn't doing platinum shit, I'd be working at, you know what I'm saying, a job somewhere. Nothing wrong with working a job. I'm being real. I'm just saying like, mm -hmm. I'd be working a job. I'd still be Sean Ferrari, rapping, making beats, doing my thing, but I'd be clocking in somewhere if this wasn't paying me, you know what I'm saying? But I'll still be doing it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So how blessed do you feel, you know, to be able life. to make a living off of this shit then? I'm, shit, it's more than a blessing. It's, uh, I do, I do appreciate that. And I do know that it's uh, very rare, you know what I'm saying, for people to be able to have a passion for something and then be able to take care of their family and live their life through that passion, you know what I'm saying? So I am blessed for sure. Uh, but like I said, it's, I've, I've manifested it though. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you go to my old house, I stayed in, off Jenny Station Road, Hills, and go in that old house. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker got all my shit that I wrote on the wall. You know what I'm saying? When I was going to Jenny High School at the time, I got everything still on that wall. I'm finna do a documentary while I'm doing it right now, actually, but I'm finna put it out. And y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me knocking on the door, pulling up back to St. Louis. Like, damn, I wanted somebody own this house. You know what I'm saying? Nobody owned the house. I contacted the people. Uh, I mean, somebody owned the house, but nobody lived there. I contacted the people and shit. They let me go in there and see that I had all this shit. They had painted, I mean, not painted, they put some wallpaper over it and I was pulling it down while she was there. Oh, that's a lot right there. Yeah, all the little shit that I do now that I'm living in my life right now, I wrote that shit down on the wall, manifested this yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? So when nigga be like, what, how, how, shit, I'm, nigga, I practice this. 
You know what I'm saying? Me talking to your ass. I practice this shit. I used to look at other niggas on the damn, you know what I'm saying? You heard me? And shit, I used to sit down and practice this shit. Look in the mirror and practice this shit. Practice, practice rapping. Practice in the car. I'd be in the car with my dad and my, I'm sitting in the back seat. Look kid, he listening, he listening to Gucci and shit. And I'm back acting like I'm Zaytoven on my lap, like this, like I'm making a beat. You know what I'm saying? I practiced this shit, I did this shit over and over again in my mind. So it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's like what they say, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. Uh, so. Nah, yeah, yeah, for real. You're right. It takes 10 years to become an overnight success. So to other niggas, they looking at this shit like, oh, you doing You just popped up out of nowhere type Man, shit. what? I've been making these same beats getting turned down for years. Like it's, this sound like some Jeezy shit. This sound like old Gucci shit. You know what I mean? Niggas ain't understand like what I was doing. I'm shaping the sound for the future. You know what I'm saying? We going back. But we it's some now shit though. You know what I'm saying? Niggas can do it now. But I had to show niggas how to do it. Niggas ain't do it till I start rapping on them. Yeah. The, the female Gucci man beat. Was that a newer beat or was that something you Ben had cooked up? Oh, that's some that's some new shit. Uh new shit. Same day of she called. She needs some beats. You know what I'm saying? Uh shout out my little nigga Todd that got signed to me. He uh Todd Gleeful, he from Texas. He hard, hard, hard young nigga. Real hard working, real dedicated. He had to send me some little shit. And I had just added my little twist to it, turned it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sent it back to my sister. And she made that rucker, you know what I'm saying? And then we brought the whole hood out. You know what I'm saying? You can see in the video, you know what I'm saying? Well, she got two videos out now, but the first one you can see is like we brought the whole hood out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Had that bitch jumping, you know what I'm saying? Pack, that was our hood day. I don't know if anybody else in other places do hood days, but where we from, St. Louis, we do hood days. You know what I'm saying? So that just happened to be, you know what I'm saying? Four, five day, that's the hood. You heard me, north side shit, you know what I'm saying? So everybody was out there that day anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's a but, perfect timing on that. Yeah, but motherfuckers came from other places elsewhere that wasn't from my hood, though, to show love, you know what I'm saying? And fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? But we be deep like that, you know what I'm saying? We Natural Bridge, Kings Highway, we had the BP, all that. We Yeah, we turned that bitch up, you know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody had no problems, ain't nobody fight, ain't nobody do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that sounds like it's rare in St. Louis, from my understanding. Man. It's like for everyone to come behind, you know, one song, one one artist, one producer like that and support. That seems kind of rare for what it's I. Understand. Very, very rare. But at the same time, when uh, motherfuckers get behind this shit, you know what I'm saying? When they know like this, this, this what we got to do. Mm -hmm. Worldwide hustle. Everybody behind us. You know what I'm saying? Even the niggas who don't really fuck with us, but they gotta be with us. You feel me? Cause that's the only way for it to work. We gotta fuck with us. We run this shit everywhere. I ain't just joking. I'm for real. Like we look at look at it. You keep you look at this step. You tell me. You know what I'm saying? You tell me. Yeah. We we got this shit down pat. You know what I'm saying? And everybody coming, we coming, we coming through. All the while, y'all be on the lookout. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all paying attention, though. Everybody, y'all paying attention. Y'all sit at home on YouTube, watch us. Y'all rap on the tight beats all day, you heard me? I'm not just joking. I ain't even being like a, a, you know what I'm saying? Like, on some lame shit with niggas. I'm being for real. Like, that's what niggas doing. It's the reality of it. Mm -hmm. Niggas rap on the tight beats. Y'all know who I am. Ask me, you Sean Ferrari? You know I'm Sean Ferrari. You see the soldier rag. I ain't got it with me the day I left it. I don't know how the fuck I did it. I brought, you know, new pack every day. I don't know how I left that motherfucker. But it's all good. But nigga see me and ask me, am I Sean Ferrari? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know I'm Sean Ferrari, but it's cool. You know what I'm saying? What's down? Take a picture, let's flick it up. Mm -hmm. You need my number, my personal number. Hit me, come on. You try to buy some beats? Come on, you want a feature? Come on. I'm a street nigga, I fuck with niggas. I don't be on no lame shit. You see me in person, shit, like, what's up? What's out? What you wanna do? Yeah. I live, you know what I'm saying? I ain't lame. I take a picture with your son, and all that shit. I don't be on no lame shit, you know what I'm saying? But my beats cost, unfortunately. I ain't no cheap ass nigga. 
I ain't one of them niggas you can just, you know what I'm saying, just jokes with and just get whatever from. I ain't one of them niggas. So I'm gonna do all the little cool rap nigga shit that I'm supposed to do, because I'm a rap nigga now, I guess. But nigga be mad that I don't fuck with him on the beats and shit. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck how talented you are, my nigga. All them niggas pay. The biggest of the biggest pay. Mm -hmm. That's how I got this, you know what I'm saying? How I, get to, I can go to the bank and pull this out before I go to off the porch. You know what I'm saying? Because them niggas pay. Yeah. Everybody pay. Yeah, it's you know knowing what I'm your worth, too. Like, everything you did the last 10, 15 years leads up to your price today. For sure. For shiggity. But at the same time, everything that keep going up, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, I did this. I worked hard. I did all this. But check the stats. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't just in no room just making no beats for a long time and ain't did nothing with them beats either. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was in that room working for a long time and went a long way. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga got to respect that too. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of niggas that's been making beats for 10 plus years, 20 years, and ain't did now nah, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't went a lick of, of, of silver. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, shout out to the niggas who is doing that, that's grinding, that's waiting on their time. You know what I'm saying? But it's different when you, when you reach the success and you reach the heights mm -hmm. and shit that I'm reaching. You know what I'm saying? I'm very humble and I'm very appreciative of my, you know what I'm saying, being able to do it. I don't want people to look at it like I'm just boasting or whatever, but God damn it, I am. Hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Because like, man. shit. You deserve it. You man. ain't do it. You feel me? I did it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times. Not once, twice, three. I did it a lot. I keep doing it. To the point now, it's like a, it's what I'm supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all just watching the, the me just coming up out of the surface of it. I've been doing it. Y'all been dancing to the music at the clubs. Y'all been, been fucking with this shit. I wrote a lot of music for niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't be doing all that, Joseph or whatever, but it's cool. I'm finna, I'm finna show niggas. Then I'ma show niggas how to do it. And if you don't figure out how to do it and follow the blueprint, that's on you. I literally laid a blueprint out for niggas, how to go platinum. All you got to do is do what you do what I laid out. You know what I'm saying? Get you one of these beats. Go to the lab. Let me go to the lab with you, because I don't want you to send me anything. You know what I'm saying? I'ma fuck with you, I'ma joke with you, all that, you know what I'm saying? You know, shoot dice, play the game. I fuck with niggas. You ask anybody that work with me, they know I'm one of them niggas, I, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with niggas. I fuck with you for a week, two weeks, to get the best record. You know what I'm saying? But I'ma work your ass. You're not gonna like me sometimes. You feel me? But this for this for the better of the records. You know what I'm saying? This ain't for just because I like you as a person or whatever, and I just I'm, I'm a fan or some shit. Hell no. Uh, you know, fuck a about these niggas. At the end of the day. I'm a real. This my job. It's how I feed my family now. I'm not in the street no more. So I gotta make the best record. I gotta go platinum because I got a lifestyle that I live. I can't go back to the streets. You know what I'm saying? I get I get live my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta do it this way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I gotta go platinum. I gotta go platinum. I gotta, I don't give a fuck. I gotta go big, I gotta go billboard. I gotta shoot that big. That's what I gotta do. I don't care about album skippers. I don't care about that shit. These niggas be cooking up skippers. You know what I'm saying? Beat like hits. Yeah, like them niggas be, yeah, I don't <laughs> like that song on the album. What's the what's that song name on that album with that boy? No, I don't cook them up. I don't. You know what I'm saying? Anything you hear me on, it be the smash. You know what I'm saying? Even if that label pull out another single, the one that the motherfucker smash. The fans gonna choose this. Man, the motherfucker, the streets off. gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? I cook them up. I don't know about the other shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I go against the grain. I don't care what they be doing. I don't care what nobody be doing. I get in the lab with niggas that be like, play me some of this. I don't want to play you none of that. I walk out this bitch right now. I make my shit. I don't make tight beats. I got my own tight beats. Millions of them on YouTube right now. You can look them up. Right now. You know what I'm saying? You can put this shit at the, another screen right here and look, the, you, you be scrolling for the rest of the interview. I'm not playing. Sean Ferrari tight beat. That shit go for year. Every day somebody upload a tight beat of mine. 
every day somewhere. A nigga uploading that bitch right now, waiting on that bitch to upload. He at 67% on the damn upload on YouTube right now. And the upload a sign for right type B. And he gonna get some money. You know what I'm saying? And I don't be no lame nigga that be trying to stop that shit. I love it. That shit keep me going. You feel me? It keep me on my toes, one. Because these niggas sounding hard. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas is ass, but a lot of these niggas be hard. You know what I'm saying? So I fuck with the niggas who hard, too. I turn them up. You know what I'm saying? And I show them how to have their own individuality inside of my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like find their own little sound and their own little swag. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of these niggas, they be selling little beats online and all that little shit off of YouTube. That's hard. Some of these big, famous rap niggas be Sean Ferrari type beat. Be on some lame shit, don't hit me up for real. Spend no money with me, but it's cool, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Turn them little niggas up. I'm glad they doing that, because they keep it in this. Regardless, you type in Sean Ferrari type beat, you know what I'm saying? A Trippy Red, a goddamn, uh, any of these niggas. NBA young boy, little baby, all these niggas, they be typing in Sean Ferrari type beat, and they get one of these little niggas, my little shorties, to, you know what I'm saying? They just rap on the beat, and they give them producer points or whatever, all that little shit, royalties and all that shit. But it's cool, because it keep it, it keep it going, keep the sound going. That's the whole point of me doing this shit. I give a fuck about a nigga rapping on a type beat or not rapping on my beat. I got 30 of these already. I'm going to keep getting them. You know what I'm saying? It's like this. You got a candle, right? I light the candle. I take that candle. This lighter die. Take that candle, and we got 10 more candles. I can light 10 more candles with this same candle. My flame don't go out. You feel me? If anything, these are all my fucking flames. You heard me? So now I'm immortal now. Like, I die today, nigga. This shit gonna keep going. Yeah, that sound gonna live on for sure. For sure. It's been living on. I've been doing it. I've been crafting this shit for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's here now. It's here to stay. Now we got all these little young niggas who don't know nothing about the history. Now I gotta teach them about the history. That's what shit like this about. They don't know what, where the sound come from and all the years that I took studying these niggas, Beast by the Pound and Shawty Red and D Rich and all these other niggas to create what I'm doing today. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have social media and the platforms and all this little shit to be able to pop their shit the way I can pop my shit now. They could, they was popping their shit for sure. Shout out to them niggas, they was popping it to the best that they could, but it's up to me to not like pop it for real. You know what I'm saying? And then in the midst of me studying that and learning that, I birthed some new shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what niggas doing now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's high speed music. Everybody doing high speed music now. They just don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And when I do these little interviews and I get up here talking, them old niggas be mad and shit in them comments and shit. I seen your shit, Ali. You said about me and I just want you to understand this. Y'all did some shit, but y'all wasn't doing what was really going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all was fitting in to what er everything else was going on. We the streets, you feel me? We the streets. And I'm not influencing nobody to be us, you know what I'm saying? But I'm showing where this shit come from. I'm about history, you know what I'm saying? If you, who you say you are, you know what I'm saying? Nation of God's earth and all that shit, you understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying as far as history and how important history is and facts. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just giving history on where this shit come from and why. I'm not influencing no kids getting no car and steal no car and take no people on the high speed chase. I ain't doing that. I'm just telling people the origin of the music that everybody love and listen to and like, you know what I'm saying, in this industry. You know what I'm saying? They don't know that it came from the trenches of St. Louis that was high speeding and shaking police because they was riding with dope and guns in the car. You feel me? Something that you weren't doing because you was on that 5% of shit. You know what I'm saying? And no disrespect to that, you know what I'm saying? Because my uncle them, they 5 percenters for real. You know what I'm saying? They don't slide back and eat a ham sandwich every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And work it off because they got a gym that nearly bought them. You know? So I'm, I'm being very humble and respectful. At the same time, I'm letting you know 
Come on, man. Don't be up on no damn social media, Instagram, playing with me, bro. I'm not merely. I'm not going to get on no other platform and do this. This is the last time I'm going to say this. I really want to sit down and talk to you and hope we can just settle out a little whatever as men. Because I really don't got nothing with you. I was just saying that the music that y'all was making wasn't no gangster shit. Y'all was making industry snap and pop shit. And that's cool because it took y'all a long way. Salute to y'all. But we the streets. We making the street shit. You know what I'm saying? And this shit is taking over the world now. In front of you. That's why you got so much to say about the shit that I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Because you know that that shit wasn't no street shit. And now St. Louis got a real chance to really show what the fuck was really going on. And they gonna really know that y'all was on some bubblegum shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all it is to it. I fuck with y'all though. For real, for real. I bump that shit, I listen to that shit all day. But it ain't no street shit. It ain't nothing wrong with that. I listen to Adele, you heard me? You know, all that shit. I listen to it's a nigga named Aaron Tahoe's. He got a song named Control. I love that bitch. I play that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna listen to that song and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I listen to different music. You ain't gotta be a street, you ain't gonna make no good music. I listen to different shit. But the shit that y'all was doing wasn't no street shit. We do the street shit. And it birthed a different sound. Now we got all these other people who ain't street people, you know what I'm saying, that's in the industry. We got them doing these beats, rapping on these beats, rapping, stealing the swag, stealing the sound. You feel me? And I won't even say that they stealing it, they just love it. It's influential. How can you not like it? You know what I'm saying? That's the whole point of me cultivating it and shaping it how I was all this time. So it's like, I don't get offended. I don't get offended if Lil Baby rap on a tight beat off of YouTube. You can clearly tell that's my sound. You can clearly tell I didn't make it though. You know what I'm saying? So it leave a little like, why he ain't just get a sound for right? Why didn't he go to the original source? But it's cool though because he keeping this shit going. He's gonna spread the sound. You know what I'm saying? Way. He doing his work. He doing his job. I don't care if a nigga pay me my eighty thousand for my beat. I don't give a damn. I'm gonna get my eighty thousand. You feel me? And I'm still fuck with my niggas in the street. I'm gonna go pull up on them niggas and get that money. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna come from all over and fuck with me. In the surrounding areas, in your town, country, city, or county and city. You feel me? I do this shit. I live the trenches, bro. I'm, I'm for real. You know what I'm saying? Even in me being in my, what I am now. Whatever you call this shit. Y'all call it success. I call this my life. I live this shit. It's like successful to me. I'm still failing. To me, I ain't did what I'm really supposed to be doing. So that's what y'all niggas need to be worried about. Y'all think this shit's something. Cause I can count a little money. I got a little chain on. I got some good clothes on. I be fresh, I smell good. Y'all think that's something? You nigga be broke. You heard me? I'm for real. And I ain't saying that I don't know. I don't know lame shit. I'm saying that on some real shit. Like nigga gotta shift their mindset. Set your goals a little bit higher. You feel me? to where the shit that ain't, man, this ain't nothing. That's why I'm saying it ain't nothing because my goal's higher, nigga. It ain't because I'm down playing what you doing. You just ain't up playing yourself. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to be goddamn setting yourself on a high pedestal. You supposed to be on the highest pedestal ever to yourself. You supposed to love yourself. I talk to myself in good ways. I speak life into myself, you know what I mean? To my body, to my skin. To my my organs, I tell them that I love I, I love my I love you skin I love you heart I love you mind, I love you spirit. You heard me? I'm for real. I ain't just dosing on this bitch. I'm for real. I tell myself this shit for real because it empower me and make me. You know what I'm saying? And now that's why I put myself on the pedestal. Like man, can't nobody fuck with me. Now niggas can't really fuck with me. But if you really think that niggas can't fuck with you, or you think somebody can fuck with you, or you ain't really that, then yeah, nigga, you ain't gonna be that. It's gonna show on the outside. You ever, you know what the alpha male is? I know you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't fake that. You know what I'm saying? I'm an alpha male in this shit in the industry. I'm silent, I don't talk a lot, I don't do too much. I don't be doing all that yapping and all that Instagram shit, all that Twitter and all, I don't be doing that, I don't care about it. I get money for real. I don't care to show some niggas who broke, I got money. You know what I'm saying? But if this gonna inspire you to listen to what the fuck I'm saying, you heard me? That's no, real. Come like on. They, they need to see that shit sometimes. 
just this gonna inspire you to, to listen to some to real shit I gotta say? All right, come on. Let's put this shit on. Yeah. But let's show niggas how to do this shit though. Niggas ain't showing niggas how to do it. They just putting it on in front of them and doing their thing and you know, nah, we gonna show you how to do it. Especially if you come to Worldwide Hustle, we really gonna show you how to do it. We gonna turn you into a, a mega star. Then you can go off, run off, and do whatever you wanna do. You can let you, you know what I'm saying? Cause we gonna keep birthing them. Y'all just keep paying attention. We gonna keep birthing them. We do this shit. This ain't no jokes, I'm for real. Y'all know it, y'all see it. Everybody know the blueprint, the formula. These niggas be calling me through other people. They know how to get in touch with me. We be having the same lawyers. All these big rap niggas and big rap girls. I ain't gonna call them that, but big, yeah, the, big, the, the girls that are big in the game. I, I don't want to say big girls, like, you know, but all the women that's big in the game and all the niggas that's big, man, they know we got the same attorney. They you know how to get in touch with me, nigga. You know who made the beat. You figured it out. You know, you can get in touch with me. Y'all rather still go on that YouTube. All right, Sean, before we wrap it up, you want to shout anyone out here, bro? I want to shout out to my hood, Fallen now. You heard me? Shout out to whole Fallen. You know what I'm saying? 4 4 down to 4 9, you feel me? Shout out to Worldwide Hustle. Shout out to my uncle. Yeah, I, I come back. I want to come back. I want to come back and side out somebody. I saw your mama. I ain't come back for nothing. I don't fuck with him no more, son. We can't fuck with him. We ain't doing no more interviews with him. The fuck? No more interviews with. What? 30, look, listen. I want to come back and side out Nelly and Country Grammar. I made over 10 million off that. Shout out Street Country Grammar 3 is coming out and it's in Milwaukee. The boy tax tax free on there. The boy be doing all this shit. I swear to my mama, they on there. Street Country Grammar 3 is coming out. And listen, don't tell him about Street Country Grammar 3. He can't get it. He gave him Street Country Grammar 2 last time first. He cannot get it first. What's the name of the show? Dirty Glove what? Blaster. Dirty Glove Blast? That bastard can't get in that name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. we'll Dirty like Glove that. Bastard. We on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Sean Ferrari. We off this motherfucker, man. We pulling up Whippy. We on Whippy now. You heard me? We on Whippy now. <laughs> 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 okay, it's SRC's. Nigga, come pull up on me. Dry